Good morning, all of you. Nana here, and I have started the recording. Are you able to see the recording icon on your left hand side top now? Anybody can confirm me that you are able to see now? One of you, please confirm. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very good. Fine. Just keep a watch on it also. If uh, by chance, if the recording icon goes away, immediately inform me so that what happens, I had again just start the recording. Fine, go there. So let me go and then, first of all, uh, uh, start to share my screen and then I will not show you but how the training is going to go ahead now. Just now. So here, <clears throat> if you go there, if if you see on this uh, your uh, Google Drive link, fine. I am now having a Fusion SEM training now. Fine, go there. So you will now see uh, one such a thing called the Fusion Additional Docs and Records. So here, what happens? I'll be posting uh, whatever I'm getting new that will be posted over here now. Available again, fine. Fusion Additional Docs and Records. What happens? You're having one instance credentials, and then there is a video also available. So you visit this folder frequently, and then uh, uh, what you do is uh, uh, you download uh, whatever is available on a, uh, on a uh, until once in two days you visit there and then see if there is anything new you download. Okay, fine. If anybody has got any doubts, please tell me. Fine, what is the instance credentials for practice now? Fine. So I will tell you about how it will look in the Google Drive now. Fine, go there. <laughs> so in the Google Drive, it will look like this now. Fine, supply chain management documents. If I double click on it, what happens? You'll be having three folders actually. One of the fusion inventory records. Now every session recording will be posted over here. Now fine, you'll be having the recordings posted over here. Now. Please uh, mute your mics. Please again, what happens? You have the habit of muting your mic. Otherwise, what happens? I had to uh, again and again go there and then mute the mics. Now I will not go there. I will not mute off. Fine, have the habit of muting your mic whenever you're not speaking. Just uh, do it as a practice, as a good practice, please. Okay, fine. Thank you all. So you'll now find three such folders here, Fusion Inventory Records, Fusion Financial Docs, and this is only for the financial docs, and one is the Fusion Additional Docs and Records. If you double click on it, what happens, you can now see the files will be keeping on going over there now. Fine. I have done this, zero one has been done twice actually. Fine. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> uh, it will be numbered actually, zero one, zero two, so what happens, you'll be able to understand about how many you have done it actually. And then uh, every session recordings will be available on this now. As of now, there will not be any records. And then uh, as and when the session records are completed, what happens, I'll be uploading it to this folder. So you can download them at your time and then you can do it. Is it clear? I hope that everybody has got the link for the Fusion supply chain documents. Fine. There are 11 zip files are there and then afterwards you'll be finding uh, what, uh, uh, what's called, uh, there will be three folders and then 11 zip files. <clears throat> anybody has got any doubts on this now, first of all? So you have to, uh, what happens, uh, frequently visit there and then in this place, the records you have to download and then the additional docs also you have to download. Clear? That's good. <clears throat> fine. Anybody else? <laughs> so I open up the instance credentials for practice now. Fine. Double click on it and then I'm going to see this. Click on it now. Yeah. <clears throat> so, one second. <clears throat> Now that 8 GB file, the Fusion portfolio management is not downloading it all the time. I tried like it's 10 actually 8 GB in size now. Fine, once when you start to download, it will take a long time. If your internet speed is not good, it will even what happens? It will be doing the zipping for more than one hour also. So try to download that file using what happens? A high speed internet. Otherwise, what happens? It'll be very difficult. Actually. So now uh, I have given you four instances for practice. Yeah. Tell me. Please mute your fine, mute your mics. I have given you four instances for practice. I will not take up the first instance. Only. So here go there. All of them are having a common username and password. Now test underscore user. Welcome one two three. Everything is having a common username and password. So let me take a copy of it and then I will now start our activity. Another no, no, one question. Uh, is this a these uh, whatever you're trying to sh show on the screen right now? Is yeah. it a file that you send it or? See, just now only explained. Okay, fine. Go Sorry, I missed. Have you got the supply chain management documents in which what happened? There will be three folders are there. How do I go to that? Because I don't have that link. Uh, I have not. What is your name? You just joined or what? Yeah, I just joined. Okay, okay fine. I, I, I'm Srini. I just, I just joined. So. Yeah, I have not shared you. Fine. Those are just. That's fine. After the after the session, you, then I will be sharing it at the end of the day. Actually, fine. Okay. I'll be busy. Okay. Fine. fine. And then okay. if you are, if anybody has not got by the end of the day, please send a mail to me. I will now share to you. Fine. Only when I share, what happens? You'll be able to access this now. Fine. So those who are joined late, uh, I might not have sent it. And then please uh, put a mail to me so that what happens? I will now uh, make a verification of your payment, and then I will now send you the link actually. Fine. Perfect. Thank you. So this additional document docs, what happens? It'll be there. It'll be there. 
So here I am not going over there. No fan. Let me go into my this thing. No fan. Open the this one. This file is open. So I have not taken a copy. I will not take a copy. No fan. And then there are four instances that I will begin. No fan. I will not take a copy. And then I will not go to this place. And then I will not log in. Please mute your mics now. You see, every time I cannot uh, me keep on telling you. Fine. Please have the habit of muting your mics. So now here I will now say sir test underscore user not find over and then click on login. So it's a welcome one two three is a password. Thank you for signing. I will now go inside now. So test underscore user welcome one two three and then click on signing. See now the password has got expired now actually. So this is the time on Saturday morning. What happens is they will now reset all the passwords actually. So uh, what you have to do is you have to. Uh, Send a click on the forgot password, and then what happens if you click on the forgot password? Uh, and, and Saturday, uh, what happens now? It's morning time of uh, California time, and then there, what happens? They'll be resetting it, and then you put your user over here now. Fine, test underscore user, and then here, what happens? And then click on the forgot password, and then click on submit. Um, um, here, I think the username is incorrect over there. Huh? You had a you had a full stop in in the username. Okay, I think okay, it was fine. maybe maybe because of that. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Okay, very correct now. Fine. So if I'm making any mistake, please tell me now. Fine. Orders. There is a small mistake here now. Test underscore user. Okay. The word document is like this or what? I don't know. Uh, okay. I, document I, I, word document is fine. Word document is fine. Okay. Fine. Good. If I'm making any mistakes, please tell me. Fine. So if you uh, if they reset the passwords, what you have to do is you have to go there and then click on the forgot password and then put your username over here. Fine. Test underscore user, and then you click on the forgot password, and then you might have created the user with your own email ID, and so what happens is that through the email ID they will be sending you the reset link. Fine, with it you can do it. So now I have made a mistake. So it's a California time is basically very early in the morning. Fine, uh, uh, and then what happens is probably at around seven o'clock or eight o'clock of California time, what happens they'll be resetting the passwords now. So you may have to again reset it. So let me remove that test the dot. I know it is making the password. Click on it and then click on sign in now. So click on sign in. Oh God! Again, it's not coming as well. Test underscore user. Welcome one two three. And then click on sign in. So I'm signing in. I have gone in sign in. So what I will do is I will I have now on the other uh, uh, what happens the browser on the Mozilla browser. Uh, what I have done is I have already logged in and then I have kept it over here. I will be resetting this password again and again so that what happens sir, even if they reset it, what happens? They will be able to get it actually. Otherwise, I will not take it from one over. And go there, go to the right hand side. Fine, click on it, click on it, go there, and then you go there. They are all menus actually. Fine, go there. Click on the tools now, and then click on the security console. Fine, click on the security console. So tools and then security console is a sub menu of this now. Fine, click on the security console. It is not like anything but a sysadmin admin actually. This is a yeah, warning message will be coming. You just ignore it. Go there, click on ignore it, and then you go to the users area. I'm not going to create my first implementation user. I click on users now. Go there, click on it. I'm not going to add user account. I click on add user account. I'm not going. To click on the add user account. So here, what happens? You go there first name. I'm not going to use a zero one underscore. You have a what happens? A, a unique uh, uh, what happens? Identifier. So that what happens? It will be easily possible. I will not say it's IMP implementation user. <coughs> click on it. So I will not put one of the email IDs now. I go there. Mozilla.com. Gmail.com. And then go there. So the system automatically prompts the username as first name dot last name. I don't like that dot now. Fine. Go there. I remove it. If you whichever way you want, you can have the username as such. No fine. Go there. Uh, it prompts it, and then the prompt can be overridden actually. Go there. I will not give a password as welcome to three. Welcome one two three, and then what happens? I'm not as of now. I'm not adding any what happens any role as such. So here it is basically role based access control. I'm not adding any role. Yeah, tell me. So click on what happens? I will now give a save and close. So what happens? A zero one underscore IMP is now created. I click on save and close. By which what happens is now having any role. No point. Whether click on save and close. Now, if you wanted to work on this now, fine. I will now click on the home icon now. If you click on the home icon, uh, I will now say save also. Find username and not after that. But in the tools, what happens? You'll be having a security console. This will be visible only when you give the IT security manager role. If you give the IT security manager, then only the tools security console will be visible. Similarly, if you click on the name, 
what happens you will be able to see a setup and maintenance this will be visible only when you give the application implementation consultant so application implementation consultant role is responsible for the setup and maintenance and then the tools security console is because of it security manager now i have not given anything at all fine go there let me log in and then see fine go click on it sign out and then let me log in through the new user and then see if i click on confirm now i'm going to log in fine go there now it's what a01 underscore imp and then it is welcome one two three and then click on sign in now so once when i sign in you can now see that what happens you will not have anything at all if you go to the tools fine go save now fine go to the save for the tools you will not have the security console as well as if you click on the name the setup and maintenance will not be there as such fine so setup and maintenance is basically for setting up the system as such fine go there so if you go into ebus now fine go there have a look at it now fine go there click on it now ebus and now go there so here uh, i will now go to one of the responsibility now you tell me this responsibility here what am i the responsibility concept is not done away with now fine now tell me he is a transactional user or he is a setup and transactional user anybody he can perform the setup as well as transactions or he can only perform transactions setup and transactions both okay, you are saying both, both. both no we have the uh, inventory vision operations is actually a super user which means no, that not because of that no not because of that anybody else now he he can do the setup as well as he can perform the some transactions not yeah, because, because super user not because of that i can i can create the on hand also yes, system administrator access no no yeah. no you can see here itself and then which is setup setup option is there over here fantastic, fantastic the setup option is there now. transactions yeah if you have the setup option then what happens he can very well perform the setups transactional users they will now remove the menu the setup menu will be removed every responsibility will be having a setup menu and then the if the setup menu is there he can very well perform the setups so similarly here if you give the application implementation consultant role then he can perform the setups so transactional users will not be having the application implementation and consultant role now fine hey my recording is on now fine anybody if you hey, just keep a watch also fine please what happens when you in the evening when you go there you run my record and then take notes actually fine because what happened now you not be able to take notes now you have to watch now in the evening you take a notes of each and everything on this <coughs> Clear, sir. So setup and maintenance is responsible for setup that is done given by the application implementation consultant role. And similarly, on the tools, IT security manager is responsible for sysadmin, so he cannot go into sysadmin at all. So there, it is a responsibility. Clear, sir. Now, fine, go there. Now, I will now go there. I will now switch to system administrator. Now, fine, go there. I will now go to system administrator. And then, uh, uh, how many of you? Uh, let me have uh, what I want to think about. How many of you doesn't know? Fine. If anybody do not know EBS, can you put a X mark on your participants pane? Those who know, can you put a green tick mark? Others can also understand about who are all the people who knows EBS basically. Fine. In the participants pane, can you put a green tick mark? Go there. <coughs> Nagabushan is now raising a hand, but I, I couldn't understand. You had to put a green tick actually. Fine. If you know it, if you don't know, you put a red X. Red X you can put now. Fine. So oh, Vijay Swaminathan does not know EBS basically. Good. and then uh, what about uh, ranga doesn't know prashant doesn't know fine so those who don't know ebis i will be comparing ebis at uh, many many places now but don't worry about it fine uh, it's not a what's called is not a prerequisite for the training so please follow others who know uh, uh, ebis also arun doesn't know fine the participants pain fine go there <clears throat> have a look at the participants pain and then uh, many of them have given a green tick that they know ebis basically fine you keep a note how of them give, how do i give this uh, tick Yeah, if you go, you click on the participants, and then there is one a yes is there. Are you able to see this now? <clears throat> so those who know Ebus, many many are knowing Ebus. It's excellent actually. Fine, if you know Ebus, it will be very easy for you to understand fusion actually. And if you don't know, uh, it will be taking some time actually for you to get tuned to this now. That's fantastic. So all of you, please even make a note of the people who knows Ebus. so they will be uh, very helpful for you in your implementations actually good then fine go there so so many have already marked and then those who are not marked please put a mark green tick against your name for if you know ebus and then uh, you put a what's called red x if it you know ebus basically so no, no, actually this is hari hari vaskar yeah tell me no no i actually i come completely i'm from the technical background okay some that side i did not have a much of experience okay the transaction wise i can uh, training program does not require any prerequisites for understanding i'll be teaching each and everything from scratch actually okay okay thank you yeah yeah
you don't need to have any knowledge. Only in financials, what happens, you must have the accounting knowledge. Whereas in supply chain, there is no prerequisite is assumed of any part of the transaction. Sure, no, no. Thank you. Good, good. Fine, go there. Any other doubts? Okay, fine, go there. So just watch this now, fine, go there. I'll now go on and share my screen again. So this is what else. Now I go to sysadmin now, fine, go there. <clears throat> Uh, I will not go to the security, I go to the users and then I go to the define now. Fine, go there. Let me query a user. Couple of phone. I'm querying a user. Now I'm going to get the first user now. Fine, go there. <clears throat> now my question is, can we create a, a employee via sysadmin in EBIS? Anybody? No. Can we create an employee? No. no through no. HR only we can create. Exactly, very correct. Through HR only we can create an uh, employee. Can we create a user through HRMS? No, no, no. no that's not employee employee. Employee. EBIS, what happens? Employees can be created only via HRMS and then users can be created only via sysadmin. Whereas in Fusion, we can create both the employees as well as users from both sysadmin as well as HRMS. Please note down, fine. Later on, you run the record and then take notes. No, fine. So both employees and users can be created via sysadmin as well as HRMS actually in Fusion. Okay. Now, I have one user before me, 111. This user can he access purchasing uh, activities basically? Uh, based on the responsibility, okay. if you are going to have given a purchasing responsibility also. I given a purchasing responsibility also. So can he we need to we need to have the roles also? Uh, sir, no, no, we need to assign an employee to buyer, buyer, buyer. Exactly. No, no, not buyer actually. You need to add employee to the user. Exactly fine. If an employee is not added to the user, he cannot access any purchasing activity at all. And then for accessing purchase order, he has to be a buyer. Fine, go there. Similarly, what happens? Uh, they have now made one thing. And then this concept has been slightly modified. Fine. User employee association is what happens. It is, it is a different one actually. Fine. We can, when we, when I, I just created a user via sysadmin, and then there, what I did is what? I am able to give an employee name also. Employees and usernames can be created. But as far as supply chain is concerned, what happens? He must be a legal user, actually. I will be coming to it a bit later. No, fine. Only legal users are supposed to make all the supply chain transactions. Whereas in Infusion, what happens? If an employee user association is not available, he can very well perform inventory transactions as well as order management transactions, but not procurement transactions. Fine. For a procurement transaction, the user employee relationship is a must. Whereas in Fusion, for the entire supply chain, what happens? You must be a legal employee. I'll be coming to it. So as of now, what happens? I have, somebody has put a message on the chat. No, fine. I don't have the what's called the time to look at the chat. Please open up your mic and then speak. No, this thing. Fine, that. <clears throat> uh, no, no, what is legal user? I will be coming to it a bit later. No? What is the legal user? I will be coming to it. No, fine. Uh, Dana from Chennai. Fine. So good, everyone. Uh, what's this? I, I couldn't understand this message at all. <clears throat> I will be coming to you to what exactly is a legal user. Remember, for supply chain transactions, certain transactions uh, will fail if he is not a legal user. Fine, it is always highly recommended to have only a legal user to perform all the supply chain transactions. I'll be coming to a legal user who is that in a bit later now. So this concept is clear now. Fine. So here, if a user is not having an association to person, what happens? He cannot perform any supply chain, any procurement transactions. Whereas in Fusion, he must be a legal user first of all. I have not yet created a legal user. I have now created only an implementation user. The implementation users are basically meant only for setups actually. Fine. So you go there. You now go to inventory, fine, go there. You must see anything <clears throat> here. If a person is having a setup menu, then that person can very well do the setups now. Fine. Whereas in, in Fusion, it is not so. He must have the application implementation consultant role. Then only what happens, he can perform the setups actually. <clears throat> then only he can do the way. So now we have created an implementation user only. Fine. Well, this user is not having anything because we are not given any application implementation consultant as well as what happens. We are not given it. So let me sign out of it and then let me sign in now. Fine. Sign out of it. No, no, there is an application implementation manager yeah, and a user. There are, yeah, there are many, many roles are available here. Fine. Uh, <clears throat> I will come to that. I'm just on this story. So let me go on that. Go to this place and then by assisted me, let me give the powers to him. I'm going over there. I go to the tools now. I go, there. I go to the tools now. Tools. And then I go to the security console. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give him powers. The newly created user, I'm going to give it. So there is a warning message. What this warning message means is what? 
whenever you create anything, any new users and then assign a role, this has to be synced to the transactional system actually. So for which, what I was there is a concurrent program called, uh, uh, what's called this one, you have to run the uh, import user and role. So once when you run it, what happens, it gets synced to the transaction system. And then the system has got an inbuilt mechanism of syncing. And so uh, not uh, required to do this now fine. So that uh, it's a once in a while or uh, you can do, uh, run this concurrent actually. Otherwise, what happens, the system will not internally sync everything. All the users created, all the rules, everything fine. Go there, click on it now. So let me go to the users area, fine. Second one, I go there, A01, and then entry now. And I will not, you give a three character minimum, and then open it up, and then I will not add the rules. Now. Click on it, let me add the rules. So click on edit now. So click on edit. Once when you click on the edit, it will not come into the edit mode now. Fine. Click on add role. So let me give the IT secretary manager. Fine. IT C C U. IT space secure. Fine. If you write it, it will come automatically. And then there are so many roles with the F and D, ORA and all. Fine. Always give ORA, which has got a highest power. ORA is a role which is having full power. Fine. Choose it. And then you know how a lot of things are there. Again, you choose the IT security manager ORA. <coughs> fine. Hello. Click on add role. Tell me. Uh, you have not started the recording, I think. Oh, God. One second. Uh, no, no, I can no, see. No, the recording. Running. recording is running, now. Nah? Recording yeah. is running. Like, yeah. uh, I, I, there is a red dot on the left. Oh, ah, there is a red dot on the top. Angle there. So, that's what it is. No, no, uh, this is Subramanian. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Uh, due to, uh, we are working on vision instance. For EVS, we used to on some services like... Uh, uh, services dot VAS, concurrent manager dot VAS, fulfillment service. Like that, we used to on some services. Uh -huh, nothing. Uh, no services are required to be switched on. Fine. Everything comes up uh, in a, as, a, as, a, as a standard package, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. So, if anybody sees that uh, that a dot is not there, what happens? You please immediately inform me because what happens? I am on a WebEx screen also. So, what happens? I am unable to see my screen, actually. Fine. <laughs> so, WebEx screen is also on. Aman, are you able to see me? Aman? Fine, he's not there actually. Fine, so now choose the ORA. Yes, yes, sir. I can see you. I was on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can... okay, okay fine. So add... uh, Nana, I have a doubt. Nana, Vanilla here. Uh, so here, when we are searching for IT security manager or any other role, so we are seeing something called copy. So what is the difference yeah, between yeah, a copy of the role is also available now. Yeah, copy of this. Here you can see a copy. A copy of the role is yeah, also Yeah, what is the difference between the above one and the yeah, below? This system is a good question now. Fine. Well, this is a seeded role and then you cannot customize it. Whereas the copied role can be customized. We can even add certain privileges and then there are some policies and privileges are there. So they can add it and then you can even modify it. The seeded roles cannot be customized. Fine. You have to use it only as such. I'll be coming to a bit later now. Fine. So click on this IT security manager. Ora is there. Fine. Click on add role membership in the bottom. Fine. You can now get a confirmation message that there's no added. The message is coming. Fine. Click on OK now. And then let me give the ID application implementation console. Application EIMP. Fine. In application implementation, there are plenty of roles are there. One is a manager role. And then there is a thing out there. Consultant is the biggest role. Fine. Always give the consultant role because you are going to set up the system. You must have maximum powers actually. So application implementation consultant of Aura, you choose it now. Fine. You click on choose and then it will be coming. And then again, application implementation consultant of Aura, you choose now. Fine. Anything starting on Aura is, is the highest power actually. Fine. Aura. And then click on add role membership. Fine. It gets added up. You'll be getting a confirmation message. Click on OK. And then what happens? You will also give an abstract role called employee. M-P-L-O. <coughs> employee. Employee is basically for what if a person wants to apply for leave and then he is not going to make a self appraisal and then all other activities apart from his normal jobs, what happened? The employee role will be covering. So all the end users must be given the employee role actually. So I'm going to click on the employee of Aura. You just add it now. Go there. And then employee role, I'm going to choose the Aura one. Fine. Click on add room membership. Fine. Go there. Click on it. The role is added. Fine. Uh, Nana? So if you're using the desktop speaker, this is going to be echoing like anything. Please try to avoid the desktop speakers uh, and then uh, try to use a headset. Otherwise, what happens? It will be echo. It will be very difficult to do it. Yeah, tell me. Now, there are two things that are coming as assignable as well as auto provision. This assignable is basically controlled by HCM team actually. Suppose, let us say, you are the user and I am your boss now. And you want the application consult, application implementation consult role, fine. So through the HCM screen, you can make a request, and then what happens? I will now assign it. So whichever roles are assignable are only assignable to the subordinate sector. Fine. So this is a, basically a control from HCM actually. If HCM is not installed, you don't worry about it, fine. Because what happens? Only subordinate people will be uh, adding the roles to the employees. Yeah. Similarly, Nana, provision. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Yeah. One question over here. 
uh, we have seen that the role usually start with the aura and the asm1 and yeah. the asm stands for something specific i don't know i don't know about it man. again and talk to technical there is a separate training on security and the security training will explain you completely about each and everything on the roles actually so that if you attend it they will understand about what exactly is fnd what is asm spr everything you will understand Right. So this is the assignment and then the auto provision, what happens, HCM will automatically, whenever a new user is created, what happens is so many rules will get automatically provisioned. And again, HCM will control it. If HCM module is not installed, you only have to manually do all these things. So click on save and close now. My implementation user is now having sufficient privilege to come to as well as we can Hello. Yeah. Uh, Nana, can you repeat for the auto provision code? Uh, auto provision is what uh, human capital management. If it is installed, what happens? They will now add one all users role. They will now add the employee role, and then certain other roles depending upon the company policy. They will now add it. So when I click on the create users, you can see these roles are getting automatically assigned. Actually, whatever is the auto provision role. So again, if a CM is installed, then only what happens? It will be coming in the picture. If a CM is not licensed, you only have to add all the roles manually. So click on save and close by which what happens? I uh, know added the roles to user now. No, no, one question here. Tell me. No, no, why we are explicitly like assign uh, uh, means taking here assignable and all? Because assignable is not your control now. It is a CM. No, no, what is locked actually? What is locked means I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, probably you may not be able to use this user at all. Maybe if it is locked, the user, the user gets locked. You have to reset it. Uh, actually, Nana, locked is something like it's uh, you know uh, like a consult. The person is having major access on this, and if they wanted to lock the access for certain users uh -huh. that want to do it, so we can select that lock. So if I am locking it, uh, what will happen now? That user cannot even log in, or what exactly? Yes, yes, yeah, the user cannot, yes. Log cannot log in. Cannot log in. Cannot log. It's access control. Yeah. yeah, it's access control. Fine. If you wanted to stop any user from doing it, what happens? If you are having a sensitive bin power. Even lock certain users and if you are trying to reset the password like two three times, you are entering wrong password, it will get locked. Yeah, yeah, it will get locked automatically, and then you are done. But if the passwords are entered wrongly, and then the user gets locked, and then good sir. So there are so many technical guys are also there. Please uh, share your knowledge so that it will be very useful. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can we reset our password uh, from here using? This click thing. on the reset password, and then it will be resetting the passwords. If you do multiple times, what happens? It will be getting locked. Yeah. Click on done now. Now what happens, we have to run a concurrent now. Once you run the concurrent, uh, it will be getting synced to the transaction system. For which what happens, you click on the home icon. And then I go to the tools now. Fine, go there. Go to the tools now. And then here, what happens, I go to that. What's called the scheduled process now. Fine, go, there. go to the scheduled process. So tools and then scheduled process now. Uh, it's not visible here. Uh, I will now go via the navigator now. On the left hand side, what happens, you can now see a navigator now. Fine, this is called the navigator now. So here, I will now go down. And then you go to the tools, you click on the tools, and then here, what happens? You go to the schedule process. Fine, you see. Tools, schedule process is the one, fine, click on it. And then I will now run one concurrent now, fine, click on the submit a new process. And then this is for amazingly syncing your setups into the transaction systems. Fine, this. Fine, percentage. User, percentage. Role, percentage. Now, fine, please mute it now, fine. Mute your mics. We are not speaking. Nana, if, how do I know which release we are on? Oh, I'll come to that. Go there, click on OK now. And then click on oh, application. OK now. Fine, I'm going to run this concurrent now. Yeah. So click on the, it is not having any parameters. So I click on submit, it will be running now. It runs over here now. Fine. Okay. Uh, refresh it just like in Abyss now. Fine, you are refreshing it. Uh, no, 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 no. Username and uh, employee name, it will be created automatically once we create this. No, we only created the username and employee name. Remember? I have given the username as what a01 underscore IMP, the first name as a01 underscore, and then the last name as IMP. So we give the names as well as users, everything we are now giving. It doesn't create anything automatically. You no, like in EBS, uh, we are linking, right? Uh, same thing uh, I'm asking whether we are going to create separately username and uh, employee name separately and uh, sync it. Users and employees can be created both from sysadmin as well as HRMS also in, in Fusion. Okay, right also. now we have created only user. We have created employee also. We have created employee also. Have you seen it now? Fine. A01 I un underscore is the first name and then IMP is the last name. Employee is also created. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Fine. We have created employees as well as users. 
So run this concurrent, and then once when it is completed, what happens? All the setups will be automatically synced to your transaction system. And go there, click on it. I will now log out and then log in with the new user. I'm going to log on and log in. Click on confirm. I'm going to log on. E zero one underscore IMP. And then it's a welcome one two three. Fine. Click on sign in now. Fine. I'm signing in. So now we created a user. So we uh, we should run this concurrent program as well, right? Yeah. Whenever you add any roles or any users, you create it now. Fine. It is customary to run this concurrent for syncing it actually. But what Oracle says is that they have an inbuilt syncing mechanism of around every twenty minutes or every half an hour or one hour or something. Some frequency is there. This will be running it in the background background actually. If you want to immediately use okay. it, you better preferably run this concurrent. Now we got everything. Now this look and feel. What happens? It is not good at all. Fine. I am going to make a change of the look and feel. And remember, it is your responsibility to make a change of the look and feel. Now, fine. Look and feel has to be changed actually. Fine. Uh, many people will not like this at all. Fine. They'll be changing it now. Fine. They'll be uh, changing it now. Actually. So I will now teach you about how to change it now. And remember, technical will not come into picture for the look and feel. Actually, you only have to do it. I don't like this look and feel. So what I do is I will now click on the navigate icon on the left hand side top now, and you can now see that everything is now coming down like this one below another. You go down, and then here what happens? You go to the two. You open the configuration menu, and then here you go to the appearance. Fine. You drop down the navigation menu, and then configuration menu, and then click on the appearance, and then I am going to make a change of the appearance actually. So here. To go into the appearance, what happens? You have to go into a sandbox now. So only when you are in a sandbox, what happens? You can edit all these things now. Fine. So we will now go to the sandbox first of all. So appearance, you hello, please again and again. I'm telling you, please uh, mute your mics now. Fine. Every time, every time, I cannot go on the. What happens? My webex screen is also there. My screen is not actually uh, visible. Actually, fine for muting it. Actually, please mute your mics now. Fine. Please have the habit of muting the mics so that what happens? It won't be disturbing others actually. So this look and feel, what happens? It is basically for the appearance now. Fine, it cannot be changed. Otherwise, you are in a sandbox. Actually. Fine, let me go there. Let me create a sandbox now. Fine, click on the navigator icon on the left hand side top now. So let me go and then create a sandbox. You go there. You will now go to the what's called again on the configuration, and then here I will now go to the sandbox. Below the configuration, we have a sandbox, and now I am going to create a sandbox now. And remember, this is your activity. Technical will not come at all. Remember. So click on create sandbox. I'm not going to click on create sandbox. So click on create sandbox. I'm not going to create a sandbox. <clears throat> Go there. So let me make a sandbox. Find a zero one underscore springboard now. Find springboard underscore. I'm not creating it. And then here, what happens? There are plenty of uh, what happens. Active activities are there. And then the remaining things don't use it. Only on the appearance you make it now. Find for the remaining. Nana, you Nana, you made it hyphen. Uh, a zero one hyphen just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you'll be confused later. Underscore A zero one underscore S B underscore one now fine with that. And then choose only the appearance now. The remaining one, please learn it from technical about how to use it. And then again, what happens? Do not make an R and D because in the last batch people made a lot of R and D, and then so many things were missing, and then I couldn't do anything at all because I'm not an expert on this now. Fine. So normally the functional consultants are supposed to only what happens to change this look and feel now. Fine, look and feel is the only one which has to change now. Fine, as well as so if we don't enable this, what happens with the sandbox? We can do nothing as such. Fine, with that I'm sure you. And then again, the remaining ones, I'm again and again telling you, talk to your technical team and then try to understand. Go through the documents and then afterwards, what happens? You do all the changes. Otherwise, what happens? Don't do it. But you have to only do this now. Technical will never come into picture at all. You only have to do the appearance changes. Now. Appearance changes you only have to do. It. So click on it. So without anything, what happens? I will now say create. Then click on A zero one SB one the one. Then go there. Create and then enter. So once when you click on it, what happens? It will be going into your sandbox. Then click on create and enter. It will be going into your sandbox. <clears throat> so now you can see on the left hand side top, your sandbox name is coming now. Fine. We are in a sandbox. So once when you are in a sandbox environment, please don't make any setups and transactions. The setups and transactions will not go into the tables at all. Some of them will go. Some of them will not go. So When you are in a sandbox, please avoid any setups as well as transactions. Also, is a very important one. Fine, people sometimes remain in the sandbox and keep on setting it up. Some of them will go into the tables. Some of them data will not go into the tables at all. So avoid making any setups and transactions when you are in a sandbox. Fine, so the sandbox is for page customization and then look and feel customization actually. So the page can be customized and then the look and feel can be customized. In Ebus, what happens if you go there? Uh, you have this one. Fine, go there. I, I am now in inventory. Fine. I go to the move orders and then I go to the move orders. Now this is called the forms personalization. 
So once when you want to perform your form specialization, what you do is, <clears throat> I'm now opening the form of move orders now. So let us say here, I wanted to remove the approval button now. Fine. For some users, I want to remove it now. You go to the help, you go to the diagnostics, you go to the custom code, and then you go to the personalized. So this is called form specialization, and this is known as page customization. Fine. This form specialization in eBiz is known as page personalization. It is almost same now. And go to click on it now. And then here, what happens? You only have to do it. Now. And then I will not teach you about how to do it in Fusion now because I will be doing it in the fag end. We will teach you what happens. You will now fiddle around and then you will now see so many fields will be missing. It happened in one of the things. What happens? Suddenly you go there, approval field is missing. And then some item field has been pushed over here. Something has been made mandatory. People made a lot of experiments and then I have to leave that instance actually because the transactions are not happening. So the page personalization, I will not teach you on the fag end of it now. <coughs> but the look and feel, I am not teaching you. Look and feel personalization, I'm going to teach it now. Find that. So this is how it comes now. Find that. So it's almost similar to what we have in Ebus now. Find. And it's even uh, uh, what happens for which you you need to know the ADF as well as XML also. ADF and XML are required as far as Fusion is concerned. Now find that knowledge it will be excellent. Otherwise, what happens? You can now do only simple personalizations. Now. It is all done now, fine. Because I, have, I am in the sandbox, which is having no powers at all. If you go there and then click on it, and then if you go to the appearance again, it will not be editable at all, fine. Because, because the sandbox is not having any powers at all. If you go to the appearance now, fine. Click on the appearance now. Configuration appearance, if you go there, again, it will not be editable at all because my sandbox is not having anything. So what happens, I will not, first of all, exit out of the sandbox, and then I will now enable the sandbox for look and feel customization. So click on the sandbox, and then I am not going to exit now. Leave sandbox. I will not leave the sandbox. I'm not leaving the sandbox. So let me edit the sandbox again. So I will now edit the sandbox. I'm going to click on it. Click on the icon. And then I go to the configuration. And then again, go to the sandboxes now. Go to the configuration sandbox. And then let me edit the sandbox. Go there. So here, you will now find this sandbox. My sandbox name is coming now. Fine. Click on it now. Fine. Click on it. So click on it. And then let me edit it now. <clears throat> I will now enable it for what? I will now enable it. Fine. Go there. Uh, I will now have to enable it actually. <clears throat> Where exactly is the enable active tools? I think we have to go there. Come on, I forgot the basic information. Click on edit now. No, click on edit. <clears throat> but I want this one now. How to do that now? <clears throat> Actions. Okay. I don't know how to edit that. Is it on that uh, click of that plus beside that active tools? Yeah. Ma. Yeah. yeah. Basic enter. Maybe, yeah, Basic. yeah, yeah, very correct. Now, fine. If you give a plus, who is this now? <laughs> fine. Vijay, Vijay. Vijay, okay, fine, good. So, I will now enable the appearance now. Fine. Only on the appearance you enable. Click on appearance and enable. Fine. Click on okay now. Fine. Now, we can very well do the edit on the look and feel now. Fine. It's not done. Fine. Go there. Thank you. Fine. Go there. I will now enter the sandbox also. I made a, a change now. Fine. One appearance is only added now. Fine. Remaining ones, please uh, learn from technical and then what happens to do it. It has got lots of things to do. Fine. So plenty of things are there without knowing it, don't do it. But appearance, you only have to do. Remember, technical will not come at all. Fine. They don't have time to change the appearance about my appearance. is your responsibility. Fine. Click on enter, enter sandbox. I'm not entering the sandbox. No. Click on it. So now what happens? You will now find the sandbox with the appearance editable now. So click on enter sandbox now. <clears throat> so it's still working in the bottom actually. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's coming. So let, the, let it come. Fine. Now we are in the sandbox. Now you go there and then open up now. Now, this sort of a, the, the navigator is now coming like this now, fine. It may not be uh, admirable for you, fine. Go there, go down. And then here, click on the appearance now. Configuration appearance, I'm doing it. And remember, you only have to do it now. Now, every field is now editable now because appearance is now enabled for the sandbox. Now, here, what happens? I will not drop down. I will not choose one of the things. Here, here, it is now looking like this now. The preview is now like this now. Fine. The preview is now coming over here now. Fine. Click on it now. I will not drop down. And then I will now choose a default one now. Fine. Let me choose a default and click on default. I'm choosing the default. So once when you choose a default, what happens? It comes like this now, fine, with a goal, goal one, fine, round, round one. And then here, what happens? You can even make a change of so many things now, fine, that you can uh, make an R and D on this now, fine, because it's user specific. Remember, and so what happens? You can make an R and D. So here, what happens? Icon type is solid. If you go there and then make it as what outline, it will be coming as outline here. Fine, I'm not this one. Size is extra large. You go there. If you make it as a small, it will not look small. Fine, so you can make it change. Now. So try to modify all these things and then see them. Fine. So background is multicolor and then uh, label. All these things are there. Fine. Make an R&D at this now. Fine. Page style is light. 
my background yes uh, so nana you have uh, created sandbox through sandbox and then you are changing uh, the fields through appearance yeah yeah i have created a sandbox which is enabled for appearance and then i am in the sandbox and then here what am i doing so the background color we will not try to see it and i'll not make it as what uh, a light one no, and i don't want here this is okay the background color is light actually so make all the changes and then you can even what happens put a image also you know we can even put a image i will show you about how it will now look like fine in the, in my customers instance now fine let me go there and then let me show it to you in the customers instance actually <clears throat> let me go there <clears throat> uh nana this uh, uh, is only for uh, personalizing the users page right exactly. it will not be only for personalizing the users page is yes, very correct no fine something i might have forgotten to tell you fine please remind me also if i am not forgotten tell you fine now i am in my customers user fine click on sign in no fine go that i am now in my customers instance actually fine <clears throat> if you go there you can see how they have done it actually it doesn't mean so, that only no. concerned actually if you see no, no. If, whatever, yeah. if you want to do it on enterprise level how will you do it uh, you have to do it uh, for each user separately very good very good question again talk to technical if you want to do it at the enterprise level for all the users there may be some commands or something like that fine technical will help you out as so, no implementations what happens we only have done this now fine so here what happens he is basically a payables clerk actually fine and then you'll be having a receivables accountant and then you'll be having a financial controller so implementation consultant only will be creating all these users with the page personalization now i don't know so now what happens our team has now added the employee name employee photograph his name and then they have even added the logo also over here and then let us say this guy is not going to use this me at all so what you do is the springboard can be customized you click on this right hand side there is a icon there this is called personalized springboard icon now fine click on it now let us know remove the me now fine go there so let me remove the me and then click on okay the me will go away so likewise what happens you can personalize the springboard and then give it to the end user to use now that is how it works actually <clears throat> so anything all these things can be personalized everything can be personalized but what is the board name no no huh? springboard springboard what what it is springboard personalization if you click on it what happens it will say personalized springboard now if you click on it what happens all these menus and sub menus everything will be coming whichever you don't want oh, springboard you okay you know the tick mark it will be going away so what are uh, the what are the sandbox or uh, <laughs> appearance we are creating it is only specific to the user right yeah exactly no it can be made for all the users also somebody somebody asked about how to do it in the enterprise level no right so it can be done for all also but for which what happens you have to take the help of technical actually right? okay, but okay. if you do this way what happens it will be going with user is there any option to create profiles like a payable users uh, page yeah, yeah, there are so many things like that will again what happens you have to go through the secret document it not teach you a lot on this how to customize your springboard and then what happens even this also can be customized if you click on it what happens you are getting this now fine this menu this also can be customized fine so this needs some more extra effort on this now fine where springboard is very easy navigator customization <coughs> again technical will teach you about how to customize it now where springboard customization is very easy <coughs> navigator customization is slightly complex but again what happens you will learn it from the technical team <clears throat> and they will not have time to do this you'll be having hundreds of users they will never come over here and then do all the personalization also look and feel is your responsibility the implementation consultant has to change the look and feel remember right that is the way you are doing they also to, to apply it to like mass to all the employees or users you use the sandbox only right yeah yeah we have to dig into that some more level you have to do it for all the users no fine again talk to technical they will teach you about how to do it at the enterprise level for all the users right so now what happens i have made some changes to the default now the default was there and then i made a change now fine go there so once when you apply what happens it will now ask you to change the theme also the default theme is no more applicable i have choose the default theme and then change it you can even put a logo fine like this what happens if you see this logo can be added so all these things you make an rnd others now fine so in the total page what happens you can make an rnd this is not going to harm anybody so it is only user specific one try to do it and then if you are finding it a new or if you know new new things what happens i will now pass on the session to you you can also uh, what happens explain to others also if you know more fine go there so once when you apply the default is no more there because i have mod modified i applied the default and then made some modification now <coughs> and then if you click on apply i have to change the I have to save the theme also the theme has to be saved if you click on apply now <coughs> it will ask you to save the theme. sir sir back end uh, same sql uh... how to connect the backend sir for technical back uh, no fine backend and all fine anybody from technical side how to connect the backend i don't know 
So I'm not giving a new theme. Fine, click on OK now. Fine, the new theme is not coming. So now what happens? I have not done it now. I'm with that. Not new theme. So it's not waiting, waiting, waiting. It's not done. I think none of our database. I think we need to buy the database as a service, I guess, because it's on the cloud, right? So we need to buy. There is something called DAS database as a service. You need to buy. Then you'll get access, I guess. Uh, uh, no, it is through uh, uh, this BI publisher. Like through report, you can connect with the like no uh, database. But the database itself, you want to access the tables and all. I mean, how to do it? <clears throat> Click on apply cool. and go that. Now I made a new theme. It is zero one theme now. Fine, go that. Click on it, and then you'll be getting this theme. Now this sandbox has been applied, and then you made some changes now. You click on the home icon. Click on the home icon. Now what happens? You can now see the new. Uh, what happens? Your front end will be coming. This is how it's coming. <coughs> I don't have any background color now. Fine, it's all very clearly visible. <coughs> now, at this stage, what happens? You have to implement the sandbox now. If you go there, click on it, and then if you exit the sandbox, what happens? All the changes will go away. Now. All the changes will go away. So you have to what happens? Publish the sandbox. Only when you publish the sandbox, what happens? <coughs> the changes will become permanent now <coughs> for the particular user. So try to customize your user with all the logos, everything, blah blah blah, and then see how it's working. So I'm not going to publish it now. Right? Again, only on appearance. Please make a change, and then for the remaining ones on the sandbox. Only when you read it, you do it. Otherwise, what happens? You will not stop me from working on it, and then I have to switch over to another instance. Now, right? All the setups order I have made, I have to again make everything. Please, please don't experiment on other ones apart from the appearance. Now, right? take the help of technical and then learn everything and then do it. Fine. Click on publish. So once when I publish, the sandbox will be getting published. Fine. Click on publish. Now I'm going to publish. So uh, sorry, sir. For, for publish, can we have any approval? Or no, no approval. Book? I don't think any approval is required actually. And go that sandbox now it's coming in the screen. Fine, click again on publish now. Fine. It comes to the sandbox screen now. Fine with that. So there are so many things are there. Again, I don't know much about it. And then uh, you click on publish now. Fine. Now I'm going to publish it. You know, warning is not coming. Fine. Continue to publish now. Click on continue to publish. I'm going to publish. Only when you publish it, what happens? The changes will be will be visible now. Fine with that. If you click on the home icon, you can now see the sandbox will be no more to be visible in the top now. So, so once we publish, we cannot make any changes. No, no. Uh, the yeah, says like remember once when a sandbox is published, do not again call the sandbox and then make it for it. Fine, it should not be again used for anything. Once when a sandbox is published, that's it. You leave it and then make one more sandbox. Fine. If you want to make any other changes, create one more sandbox. The published sandboxes should not be again invoked and then done it. But again, it can be done. But uh, you talk to technical about how to do that. They will not tell you. Uh, as you are asking some question on this, now fine. I am also not aware of it now. If a sandbox is published, can we make a change? There, it's all possible. Again, talk to technical and then do it. No fine. So, <laughs> in my opinion, what happens if it is a published one? Please don't touch it. Fine. Create a new sandbox and then if you want to make a modification of the look and feel, make a new sandbox and then do it. So that will be overridden with the existing sandbox. Exactly. Fine. When you sandbox, what happens? It's only for changes actually. It's a tool. Okay. Sandbox is a tool for changes. So that is tool. Don't use it. Make another sandbox and then make any other modification and then again publish it. When you say uh, talk to technical, is there a team for you or is it something research uh, we have a team. We have a team of technical actually. Every company will be having a team of technical now. Fine. Okay. Team. 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 Technical team actually. Nana, how we will change uh, move the changes change to production? Yeah, the same way. Whether it is going to be test or a production, the same way you are doing. Uh, Nana, this is Pranav here. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Uh, see, once we done this personalization from your user, if I want to create another user, uh, yeah, from your user, also you do it. If you want to do it for commonly for many users, again talk to technical. They will tell you about how to do it. Somebody asked me now, enterprise level changes. No, fine. That can also be done. <laughs> Nana, you said you know in the sandbox when we use, uh, we cannot do the configuration and. Uh, See, once when a sandbox is published, don't use it again. As long as it is not published, you can again call it to call it and then make changes. If it is published, do not use that sandbox at all. Okay. That is what technical told me. They told me it's, it's possible to use, but uh, what happens? They told me that RAR, you don't know that much of a knowledge. So what happens? I'm not giving you some uh, straight information. Don't do it. But uh, they can do it. They even uh, the published ones, they can even uh, do the reversals. There are so many things it can be possible. So you mean uh, it is recommended not to do on a sandbox? Exactly, it is recommended not to do on a published sandbox. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Because Thank you're you. a functional consultant and then you don't know much about it. And so what happens? Absolutely. Go sandbox, my friend. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you. Clear? Clear? <clears throat> Any doubts? Okay. Yeah, new sandbox. Yeah, I just told you, no, hey, click on this one. And then here, what happens? It will be coming in a different manner now, not like this. No point. You go to the configuration menu. Uh, what happens? You go to the tools. No point. With the tools. And then here, what happens? You'll be having uh, the sandboxes. Where is that sandbox here? The tools. There is a configuration menu will be coming now. Fine. Uh, where is the configuration menu? Click on the tools. In the tools. No point. Click on the tools now. I'm not clicking on the tools now. Click on the tools now. <clears throat> it may be somewhere as application composer or somewhere else, or you had to search for the configuration menu. It may be going somewhere else because it has got changed now. Anybody knows where it is? On the navigator, can we check? If it yeah, can you see the next link? Yeah, next yeah, navigator and then tools, whether you get the configuration or not. You now see. It's there within configuration. Configuration, sandbox. configuration and then here sandboxes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we have a configuration. Here also we will be having a configuration menu. Here you see, it will be a replica of it actually. It will not be having anything. And we can even have different things on this on the, on the springboard something other on the on the navigator something. Which is very much possible. So all these options are coming from the role which we have added. Right? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. These icons are coming because of the roles actually. Mm. Okay. Can we bring back the previous uh, dashboard so or technical? Whatever you implemented also can, can also be reversed. That is what they told me. If you implemented okay. something, can also be reversed. And then I again, talk to technical for how to do it. Okay. So go there. Someone asked the version of this. So. Yeah, once again. Yes, yes, yes. It could be a version of the version. That is why they are asking to create one more. Yes. Mm. Uh, what is this uh, difference between the springboard and this uh, navigation? Thing is same, yeah, fine. These are all the way of uh, approach, actually. Kind of so, a yeah, springboard also you can go to the task, navigate to the task. So, there are multiple ways of accessing it, actually. Fine. Two different ways one by a navigator and then one by a springboard. Somebody asks for the version of and click on it, and then here, what happens? You go to the you click on the name, and then you go to the about the application, the bottom now, and click on the about the application, the bottom. We'll show you. So uh, every year Oracle uh, publishes four versions now, A, B, C, D, fine, uh, you now B version, C will be coming somewhere in July, and then C may be coming in September. Actually. So 19B is the latest one. 19B is the latest one. 19C is yet to come actually. Okay. 19B is the latest one. 11 is the database version, and then it releases the 30 now, fine, whether it's what is. Everybody is now clear. All of you try to do every activity uh, on Monday to Friday, fine, complete each and everything. Click on it, click on the name, and then I'll sign out and then sign out. Now you can see everything. Nana, was the yeah. And then Nana, Nana, I suggest people not to disturb disturb this user ID. Let, let them create their own user ID. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> this Tushar. Tushar. Tushar has correctly told, please don't disturb my user ID. Fine. Otherwise, what happens? Somebody will now hide something. I may not be able to log in. Please create your own and then what happens? I customize your users now. Okay. Oh, can I create a multiple user with the same uh, Gmail ID or uh, account ID? I think possible. I'm not sure about it. I'm just make five. Because we, you have given four instances, so I can create four users in four instances. Okay, I don't okay. know. Fine, take a try and then see. Fine, obviously you only have to. So, so is this demo instances from Oracle, right? Yeah, yeah, it's from Oracle. I remember okay. in the California time they will be resetting the password, and then if I'm unable to do it, what happens? I have now already opened up the system in the other one. So here. I Go on the password <coughs> uh, around 7 to 10 a.m. on Saturday morning, they will be reading the passwords actually. So, then I already opened this now. So, uh, here I will be doing the resetting of the password actually. <coughs> I will do it once an hour actually. So, will the transaction data also will go every weekend? Uh, no, no. Uh, you see, sometimes what happens, they will now purge everything also. Sometimes only user, user uh, passwords are done. If uh, they purge everything, all the transactional data also will go away. So only the visions seeded data will be available now. So in this case, what happens? You have to again create everything. Uh, so it's all it's first task, uh, we have to uh, create the, our own username using the test underscore user and yeah, that right. first yeah. link, right? Exactly. So the add test the underscore user, you create your implementation user and then come to the screen now actually. Uh, here. How to control that uh, sandbox creation uh, from the user side? <laughs> Okay, to... See now what happens is allowing you to create a sandbox now. Fine. How to stop creating a sandbox? You talk to people. They will tell you. 
I don't know about how to do this. It's all available there, but that much of a knowledge I don't have. Even the configurator also I'm not able to see. Here. <laughs> You're able to see only from the place. Anyway. It's all clear now. Hi, Nana. So uh, right now we have created an implementation user yeah. and we have assigned some roles and uh, we have uh, modified this is the look and feel of this now. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so what is the next step? So we are going to do yeah, this. You do it now. Fine. When the next step comes, I will tell you. Fine. <laughs> okay. It's, it will be coming one by one. Now. Fine. Doesn't matter. I am not going to tell you what I am going to do next. Now. Fine. I will be throwing it to you basically. I will not be <laughs> telling you. Now, what happens is the breakfast time for me now. <coughs> it's uh, 8.15 now. Fine. Now, what I will do is I will now make Madhu as a, what's called, I will now make it as a co-host now. Make co-host. So now Madhu is made as a co-host. What I will do is I will now stop the recording <coughs> and then I will now uh, exit out of it and then come back so that what happens I can convert this record into an MP4 format and then I will put it. Let me stop it now.